Making things has always been really important to me from a young age and it's definitely helped me express things I didn't know how to vocalise at the time. I think creativity is an important part of anyone's life. There's a great satisfaction and sense of empowerment for making something from essentially nothing, whatever form it takes. Hi, my name is Jenny Steele and I'm an artist based at Rogue Studios. I've been based at Rogue since I moved to Manchester from London in 2011. This was the first time I'd had a studio since my MFA and it's helped my work to grow massively. The community here has been really important to learn ways and means to be an artist, as well as providing a support network and opportunities. We have been based now in a former Victorian school in Openshaw in East Manchester since 2017. It's an incredible building, which Rogue is caretakers of in partnership with Manchester City Council. The former school is home to over 90 visual artists and we have also built a large project space for artists to exhibit their work. There is also a dance company, Company Chameleon, in the front nursery school, as well as large grounds and gardens. Artists here range from recent graduates to self-taught to those exhibiting internationally. Any visual artist can apply. I'm originally from Scotland. I studied at Duncan of Jordanston College of Art in Dundee. Unusually at school, I was determined that I wanted to be an artist, as I don't come from an environment where I had learnt that was an option but I really focused hard in creative subjects. After Dundee, I travelled to Japan for a few years to teach English. Then after trying out lots of short-term jobs in the art world in Scotland, I moved to London to do an MFA at Goldsmiths, which was a tough but incredible experience. After working in teaching in FE and HE in London for many years, I decided to move to Manchester to have time and space to focus on making due to the cheaper living costs here. Over the nine years that I've been based at Rogue, I've managed to cut down my teaching and I'm now self-employed, working on a range of projects with galleries and organisations. I really enjoy the variety of work and the fact that I'm regularly creating, which is important for me. My recent work focuses on the restorative qualities of seaside modern architecture that was built during the mid-war leisure boom to provide spaces of relaxation and release following the trauma of World War I. I work at the studios most days when I'm not out working on a project, installing an exhibition or researching. My time is usually divided into practical making or administrative tasks. There's also keeping up with marketing, such as social media or blog posts. I work mostly on my own in the studio, but occasionally employ people for marketing or installation. I like to use a lot of different processes in my work, usually involving the handmade, but sometimes digital processes, especially when it comes to larger scale textiles. Drawing is really important to me. I always start with drawing. I usually work with pencils or watercolour. Sometimes they will be the final outcome, but it usually does lead to something else. I use a lot of printing techniques, printing both on paper and fabric using relief, intaglio and screen printing, as well as digital for larger projects, which I usually outsource. I really love the process of printing. Once you prepare the plate or screen and apply the ink, the outcome is always left to an element of chance. There's a process of translation. It's a lot less deliberate and less controlled than the process of painting, which I can get quite impatient with. I also like the fact that multiples can be made at a cheaper cost, making it a lot more democratic. Processes aside, my work is very research-led and involves a lot of detailed investigation 
with research at the architectural site, archival research and meetings with historians. I'm really interested in interwar design and architecture. There's an optimistic and restorative quality that was applied to this design, created to offer hope after the devastation of the First World War. I like to try and revive its optimistic qualities in my work, as these are feelings we can all benefit from, whether having experienced personal or collective trauma. My project, Looking Back, Moving Forwards, researched into mid-war seaside modern architecture across Scotland and North England. Buildings such as the Midland and Morecambe, the Blackpool Casino and Rothsay Pavilion on the island of Butte. Some outcomes of this research were a solo exhibition at the Grundy Art Gallery in Blackpool, which included several printed and sculptural works, responding to different examples of this architecture. I also created a site-specific project called This Building for Hope at the Midland in Morecambe, across the hotel and promenade. My work has also led me to Miami Beach to research the largest international area of interwar seaside architecture. I've been there twice now to research and also undertake a residency at the Fountainhead programme. An outcome of this research has been my exhibition Why Be Exotic and Private at the Foundry Gallery in London. I've since extended my research to interwar design in New York City and transatlantic ocean liners from this period, which led to a site-specific work, The Maiden Voyage at George's Dock Plaza in Liverpool. I'm also interested in the fluid crossover boundaries in early modernism between crafts, architecture, design and fine art. My residency, This House for Building, at the Tetley in Leeds, looked into modernist textiles and wallpaper, and I produced a series of printed textile products and wallpaper with current local manufacturers. My work suggests the in-between point of art and design, often situated within a gallery or a site-specific location, such as my wallpaper installation for Our Human Library at Crosby Library and my commissioned carpet design for Art b and in Blackpool. I like the idea that art can be accessible to everyone rather than the elite few, as I don't believe that anyone is truly elite anyway. <laughs>